Night 1 of the Champions League of Darts, Leicester, as eight of the best go toe-to-toe -to -toe and talk about a war of arrows, Gerwin Price and Peter Wright trading big shots in a rip-roaring affair. Can you say barn burner, the machine, and the flying Scotsman? Who do you like here? A battle of the two Michaels. Plus, can you say aerodynamic, chin for charity today? On High Roller Radio. Yes, we are the champions as group stage play continues. Had four tilts in the afternoon. Tonight, it's losers versus losers. Winners v. winners. Here's how it shapes up. The two Michaels lead Group A. Price and Wright, meantime, sit atop Group B. Today is the day I go bald for cystic fibrosis, announced Daryl Gurney. Please donate shaving my lovely head of hair because I lost my best friend in 2017. He then tweeted this out. Wow, wow, wow. Gezi has just donated 500 pounds. What a guy. With all that in mind, fitting then, the Northern Irishman was the first one in road, and he was already working the crowd up. Let the sing-song commence. We know what team this lady was on. Team Super Chin. Is he bald? Old yet asked Aaron Nealon. Nope, not yet. Not until after the match. Win or lose. Rob Cross would get a first hand look at the haircut. His opponent tonight, as we get a glimpse of the playing area, and it was all Gurney early. He made it 4 1 and a double break of throw on double 10. He then took out a monster, the 1 4 2, which he followed with a maximum the next leg. Break out the underwear 180 signs all chin. He was flowing beautifully. Voltage not so much. Had no answer. Gurney averaging 104 plus. He took out 160 for 7-1. These fans celebrating that shot. Daryl celebrating an 8-2 lead at the interval. He is effing lethal, tweeted David Shaw. Cross can't cope with him. Bang on, my friend, he couldn't. Not in the first session, anyway. Look at this. Just four legs later, and Voltage was staring down double eight for four on the spin, and yes, he pinned it. The commercial's good to him. 8-6 now. That left Gurney backstage with his head down. Credit to him, though. Kept his composure with darts like these, and that helped him close it out, as did this. His third ton-plus checkout of the match, 142, 160, and now the 116 to finish the job. 10-6, your final. Last time we played on national TV, he said, he gave me the worst night of my life. That is some redemption for Blackpool. Superb first 10 legs, said Gary Morgan. That's the Daryl we love. I want to see a bald man holding that trophy tomorrow and not the one in a green shirt. Okay, next up we had this guy, Gerwin Price, charging up the stairs before acknowledging the crowd. He was great in the afternoon up against Peter Wright tonight, a snake in amongst the crowd. We pick it up in the fourth leg, a wild sequence first right fired in a 180 Gezi responded with the 174 and the roar to which Snakebite said take that the 161 on Bullseye he gave it some and why not tit for tat though because Price kicked off the fifth leg with yet another maximum having said all that Wright won four in a row for a 5-2 advantage. Both players in the zone, but the Scotsman was on another level. These guys were on another level too. Ales for Wales here. The red bit full. Price brought it back to 5-4 on this. A different red bit. The 130 checkout. Bullseye good for the massive celebration. He went full speed on that one. Back in it, 6-4 right at the commercials. He'd maintain the advantage through 14 legs. In that 14th leg, he produced the showstopper. The 1-2-5, beautiful for 8-6. The darts connoisseur had just one word for that. 
class. Props to Price, though. Wow, what a response. He clawed it back. This against throw, sitting on tops after nine. No problem. 11 darter for level peggings. From there, though, it went break, then hold in Wright's favor. 10-8 your final as he wipes his brow as if to say that was close. Good match. High quality. Snake bite adding 16 points to his average from the afternoon. I just try and win the games in front of me, he said. I changed my flights. I played better. So this is how Group B looks after two matches. Wright sits atop the standings. Price and Gurney tied for second. They will play tomorrow. Oh, by the way, there he is. Super thin for charity. Raised a bunch of money. Then shaved his head for a good cause. Cystic fibrosis. Bald is beautiful. Well done, Daryl. Great player. Great guy. Really, said Joe Reed. Could have had super trim, but you went with super thin. I'm disappointed. Well, Joe, how about aerodynamic? And I do agree. I like yours better. Super trim is nice. All right. We shift our attention to Group A now. These two, James Wade, Gary Anderson, both losers in the afternoon, both smiling as this one began. We pick it up, all tied through eight legs. A real barn burner. A session that can be summed up like this. A Gary Anderson 180. You see it in his eyes. He liked it. He wasn't missing, but either was Wade, who went back-to-back -back 180s in the 10th leg and followed with this. A 96 checkout to level, scintillating stuff. 5-5 five, five at the interval. It went back and forth from there. First, Anderson went too clear. Then Wadey brought it back to level. Then Ando went too clear again on this. Tops right in the middle. That made it 9-7. The machine out of gas. No, because wow, at 9-8, he nailed this. The 121 on bullseye, great shot, timely too. It forced a decider. Anderson backstage shell-shocked. He appreciated that one. And yes, Wadey would get it done. 10-8, your final. I did enough at the right times, he said. I did the job. Who would do the job here? A battle of the two Michaels. MVG Bully Boy. Well, the answer seemed to come early. Despite shots like this from Smith, MVG was a step ahead, already leading three zip. He landed the clean kill, 70 finish, two darts only, and it was 4 nothing. then 5 with the look that says too easy. The romp was on. Or was it? Full credit to Smith. He hung in there, rattled off four straight, thanks to scores like this and finishes like this. Two of them breaks of throw, and he was right back in it. From 5 nil down to 6-4 at the commercial break. Redheads, baby, enjoying their Saturday evening. The pair would exchange breaks of throw for 7-5, and then again break break for 8-6. This was the look we got when MVG made it five straight breaks of throw. Smith just couldn't consolidate any of his, and that was it. Make the final 10-6. MVG. He gave it some too. Good match. I did everything I had to do, he said. I won, and that's the most important thing. Autographs were next. Most important thing for the fans on hand. There you have it. Day one complete. Here's what's on tap tomorrow. Price Gurney to decide who advances from their group. And are you ready for it? The defending champ is out. Gary Anderson so far 0-2. The Champions League of Darts today on High Roller Radio.